when we when we select apps to feature on our show, the, the first part or the first thing that's most important that we look at actually is the curriculum and what the students are learning and the standards. And from there, if we know that students are learning about something in particular, we're looking for free apps that students can use to create with. And that's how we go about selecting apps that we want to feature. The other thing that's really important is that pre-kinder students and kinder students and first grade students can use it independently because if the students and teachers can use it independently, it's more likely to be successful. Just like in the classroom, if they're using paper and crayons independently, it's going to work out better. And so we want the iPad to be a tool that realistically can be used in the classroom, classroom for the students to use for learning. If you are a parent or you're a grandparent, we have something special for you. Um, for our teachers, we've begun creating um, some shows that will kind of share how you would utilize the iPads and some best practices um, so that they have that resource. So if you're a brand new teacher next year, you still have a video that you can watch so you haven't missed out on instruction that has actually occurred a year ago that might still be really great. But we also have it available on YouTube so our parents and grandparents that aren't sure about using technology, um, their child has been given an iPad and they don't know what to do with it. And you'll find that now in our show, we're going to share free apps that students can use to create um, and how to use it effectively. This? So if you're helping them with homework or you're going out on a trip or a vacation and you want to bring that iPad along with you so that you can document their journey and go back so that they'll always remember it, our show will help you with that. Thank you.